Yo, what is going on guys? Appreciate you coming back to the channel. So today I'm bringing you a brand new video. This video today is going to be about a badge tutorial, how to get your badge, shooting badges, finishing badges, playmaking and defensive for guards or really any build that's able to dribble. And that's pretty much how I like to say it because my shooting badge or shooting method consists of literally three moves. And to get that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go right into it and show you guys my animations, my badges. And then we'll go ahead and we'll go into the game, show a little bit of that, and we'll go from there, guys. So, yeah. First off, my jump shot is what everybody, I know much, most people are coming asking what I have. I don't have jump shot creator right now, so I'm just using stock jump shot 98. Dribble pull up is going to be Stephen Curry. It's the only two you really need to worry about. These are my dribble moves that I like to personally use. Quick, Kobe Bryant, normal three. Pro 6, Normal 1, Pro 3, and Normal 8 are my dribble moves. Layups. This this one right here is key for my career. Floater specialist, man. I guarantee these make your hop steps, your layups so much, much easier when you have floater specialist on. Then these are the dunks. If you guys care to look at them, you guys want to copy them, they're right there. Cool. We got that next on my badges and i'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys what badges you guys should start upgrading as soon as you guys are getting these badges so me personally i'll upgrade in my quick draw right off the bat to hall of fame because i can't do my method without being a consistent shooter so quick draw hall of fame was the one i got and then i moved on to hot zone to gold range extender gold now dead eye my next badge i'm probably going to be working on is going to be green machine once i get green machine i'm gonna work on making the rest hall of fame and that would be that finishing right off the bat again contact finish your hall of fame if you're an offensive threat you know this is what i get any other build uh whoop, not too sure i mostly play guard i had a play shot and my offensive threat now so well that's what i'm going for my finishing playmaking I really haven't really even grinded out playmaking in my career. I'm really just trying to get my shooting badges and finishing right now. But all I have is bronze quick first step. Defense, I mean, should be common sense right off the bat. I went gold clamps. And that's about it for that, guys. So we'll go ahead. And, oh, make sure as well, man. Go ahead and make sure you have your settings on pro. And on 12 minutes, if possible, you can do, I mean, you can really do any, any time limit. I just like to play 12s, give me the most time to be able to play it and whatnot. But yeah, guys, let's get right into it. I'll fast forward past all this and we'll get back to the gameplay. See you in a bit. All right, guys, here we are back now. First thing, so we're starting off on defense. First thing I always like to do is just call the two, three. Reason being is you always get to get the, bit early cut out for easy drives on the fast break makes it a lot easier if your teammates actually pass but i like to run the two three man because it gives you an opportunity to get the fast break nope 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 give me that didn't mean to pass that okay so right here he kind of messed it up coming in but i'm gonna come on the right side because i have my hot zone to the left i'm gonna just do the quick behind the back pull up the very corner get the most space and just shoot it shoot 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 that's essentially going to be the shooting badge method right there. What you just seen, but instead of, you know, me taking that whole break, I'm actually going to come up on top and I'm, I'm going to get speed. I'm going to run it. I'm going to do the quick hezzy to the right behind the back. I always like to run in the far corner if they're dragging on to you a lot or like to run just a little more. Eight out of ten times, man, you're going to be wide open. You're going to be wide open and you should be able to green every shot. I mean, you're not. Get me wrong, everybody's not going to be able to time it. Your three might be high enough, but right here. Quick left, right. Big step behind the back. Look how much space I got. I'm going to run, and he picked up for the double team. But we green those, baby. We get right. We get right. And that's going to happen, man. That is going to happen. This is not a guaranteed method to be open every single time. It's just using, using a little bit of IQ. This is why I run the 2-3 right here on the fast break. On the fast break. Oh my God. Well, we missed me again on the fast break. So I'm going to reset. Reset. Get my ball in my right hand. Quick behind the back. Look, look, he's stuck. He's stuck. You keep running. That's all you got to do, man. Even if he's just stuck on T like that, just keep running to the side. Just keep pushing it. I guarantee he's going to sag off. He's going to give you the space and you're going to be able to pull it every time. It's simple. It's easy. 
and it's effective. Again, I'm gonna show it to you guys just a couple more times. And after that, we'll go ahead and probably speed up the video so you don't have to sit here this whole time and watch it. I will occasionally stop it, show you guys pinpoints to look at for driving and like defense. Another big thing I always like to do when they bring it up, just reach, man. Wait for they're coming in, full court press it every time. And I usually average five steals a game. Gives me about a thousand defense points towards my badges. So that's why I work on my defense is by straight steals. So I'm waiting for my guy I'm behind the back. Look, he's stuck. He's stuck. Keep running. He's going to stag off. And that one, they, they picked up too much. So I'm going to go ahead and just pass out and get an assist. And that's how you do the playmaking. As soon as you get picked up, just pass out. Full court press, full court press. Wait for that hezzy. Okay. Again, so whenever I'm using inbound man, I'm gonna go for my threes. That's what my key is. If I'm inbounding, I'm going for threes. Right here, big hezzy. Slide to the right. He gave me space. Pull up green. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Not much to it. Besides those simple three moves, man. And really the first two moves, you don't even really have to do it, man. I just like to do it every once in a while. It breaks the defenders down a little more. Then if you just do the big hezzy to the right, I like to do the quick little side to side hezzy, big side, and then behind the back. Gets me open, like I said, eight, eight out of 10 times, I'm, I'm gonna get out open. Since I did get one fell right now, look at that. Right here, fast break, fast break, hop step, hop step. And that's how you guys get finishing badges right there. If I had the lane completely open, I would actually go for a floater, but since I had a defender on me, I'm gonna go ahead and just do the hop step. Hop steps give you a lot of finishing or points as well. I believe floaters give a little more. That's why it's always better to do the floater. But we'll take the hop step. So we're going to get quick ISO. Left, right, hezzy. And the back, we got the space. Pull up, green. Easy. Easy, guys. They're actually playing a lot better defense than most teams do. Because, I mean, they're never, like I said, 8 out of 10 times, man, they're not going to be contesting that shot. So I'm surprised we're even getting contests right now as much as they are. But I mean, that's, I thought it was going to be with a couple teams, man. Some good teams, some bad teams. You just have to fight through it. Behind the back, push, he picked up, get the assist if he hits it and he didn't knock it down. But you see, I mean, you guys could technically play that if you want. I can go ahead and try to run around and try to get open, but I like to just do it as quick as possible so I'm not wasting time at all. So that's the only reason why I really don't like to dribble out too much. If I don't get it the first time, that's it. You know, I'm not going to spend the next 15 seconds trying to get open where I can just get an assist and work on those badges. That's, that is my thing, man. You want it time efficient, quick, easy, and effective. So that is my method. Look, we got the board. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. We got takeover. So we're going to post her. And that right there, guys, is my finishing method. Two, three, get on the quick, and makes it easy. Makes it look that. I got another, I got a poke right there. Remember, pokes and steals all count towards your defensive badges. So that's why I always like to play high up defense. Are we going to pass it? Contact. Contact, I think, gives around 2,000 XP for fin or 1,000 for contact, if I'm not wrong. So essentially, Fast breaks, man. I'm taking layups. Layups. I'm going to use hop steps. If I'm not open, wide open, it's always going to be a floater. Or just try to get the poster riser. So right here, I'm going to run around all the way to the left because I'm quicker. You got me, but we still get the M1. All right, guys. So that is, that's, that's the method for right now. Like I said, it's nothing too difficult, man. Defense, like I said, all I all I do is play full, full court press with them. Try to get a poke, try to get a steal. Last game, I just, I should have really record it. It was a great game. I think I got like 18 for my shooting, 12,000 for finishing, and 3,000 for defense, which you ask me isn't too bad for one game. I always see if I focus myself on just shooting or just driving, I'm going to be able to get more. But like the shooting, I maxed out. I got 30 three-pointer shots, and that's it. That's all I can max really no more wasting that i think i had it by the end of the second quarter 
So the third quarter, all, all I did was really just driving and defense. And then fourth quarter, I think I got simmed out. But yeah, man, easy one, two. Hezzy behind the back. He's chasing. He got the double team. We can call it back right here. Call a quick ISO again. Get right so I can get the space and pull up. That's a white. But it goes in, baby. It goes in. But that's what you want to do. If your guy wasn't wide open for that assist, just call back for it. The double team usually just leaves you. You might come back again, but just call for the quick ISO. Uh, see, I messed that one up. See if we can get... That's even better, man. I'll play making badges too. But they will say, man, if you ever get the double team right there, if you pass out, they can't get assist, just call for it back. Reset it at the right side. And you're just going to do that behind that back. And you should get open every time off of it. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and just fast forward the video here now. Since I pretty much gave you guys the basics of it, of how this how this method works, how effective, how quick it is. Like I said, it's not not hard at all, man. And you know what, man, before I fast forward, I could I could probably give you guys a little a little extra another tip, man. So another good one would be you you want to call ISO. Come to the very corner, and it's not working because we're getting double teamed. But right here, call for a screen guy. Your defender usually should back off of you, but since I'm getting double teamed right now, it's not working. If you just stand still in the corner, call for the screen, your defender's gonna back off, and you just pull it right there. Nine out of ten times, gonna be open as well. Those are gonna be the method, probably for like a big shooter, a non dribbler, and that's how you get this one. But if you got any type of moves you can do behind his back, that's all you gotta do right here. Quick hezzy. Missed that. But alright guys. I will we'll, we'll see you in a little bit once this game's over. guys we're coming to the end of the video now they did sub me out a little bit earlier than normal usually let me play the first full three quarters and then send me out the fourth but it's not a bad game it was actually a pretty good one so you can see 12 for finishing 14 for shooting 12 for playmaking and 16 for defensive not a bad method to grind badges guys if you did find this tutorial helpful, please make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and share with your friends. It might have got this game on Christmas. Take care, man.